Welcome back to Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo and today is Tuesday, November 19th, 2019. Let's find out what's going on in the world of bodybuilding and fitness. Now that Disney launched its new streaming services, they pretty much monopolized the entire market on superhero stuff all in one fell swoop. But if $12.99 a month is too rich for your blood, maybe a double dose of William Bonac will do the trick. Last weekend, William hit the stage as a featured guest poser at the EMC Elite Muscle Classic, where I think he looked pretty damn good for a guy who's almost two months into his offseason. At this point, I'm still uncertain about whether or not he's planning to compete at the Arnold in March. But with him in the lineup, neck to the rest of those heavyweights, it could end up being one of the most epic weekends in Columbus that we've ever seen. Speaking of the Arnold Classic, it looks like Valentina Machina will be there gunning for the Physique International title. Recently, Valentina confirmed that she was indeed planning to compete at the Kickoff Classic next March when she posted photos of her signed contract on social media. To me, Valentina is one of the more underrated athletes in the women's physique division because she really brings her best every single time. So hopefully now that she's scored the big win in Romania a few weeks ago, she's established enough of a presence that she gets enough looks to have a shot at cracking the top five, assuming she's still on her game. Potential can be a dangerous word in sports sometimes because it deals with the theoretical, not actually what's going on in reality. But at least for the moment, two-time defending physique Olympia champ Shanique Grant is one of the rare few whose potential actually matches their production. Over the weekend, Shanique released a new back training clip that showed a hundred different reasons why she's the most unstoppable force across every division right now. She's in a weird place where she's been clearly dominant beyond anything we've ever seen, but also still not at her peak yet. At least I don't think so. It's the potential that makes her dangerous and also the thing that makes this part of her run so intriguing. One of my favorite concepts in sports is something called the disease of me. Pat Riley wrote about it in a book a million years ago and it basically talks about how the worst thing for a team is to succeed at the highest level because it creates a situation where everyone wants to inflate their own personal value. Basically the selfishness of success makes people all want a bigger slice of the pie, which erodes all the fabric of what got the team there in the first place. And if that sort of thing can happen in a team sport, I wonder if it could happen in bodybuilding too. Can you let success go to your head so you pay less attention to the little details from your coach maybe? Can focusing on building a brand that extends beyond bodybuilding suck away the extra 2% of your focus that becomes the difference between winning and losing Sandow's? I don't know, but I think it's a cool thought experiment and we're curious to hear what you guys think about it too. So leave your comments below. And that does it for yet another edition of Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo reminding you to always be true to your passions and make sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.